It's a pleasure to have you here at uh, Austin Guitar Heaven. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it was kind of last minute that we got you on board, you know, and it's just fantastic. Lucky uh, me. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Welcome to heaven. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, this is <laughs> We've had an appointment with hell. <laughs> Sometimes it can be like hell, yeah. So uh, we've known each other for a little while oh, yeah. now, and you know, Jesse doesn't know you so no, well. I do. So I maybe do know. Tell you a little bit, yeah. you know, like, how did you land in Austin? And, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm from Madrid, Spain. Right. And first time I heard about Austin was because of a friend of mine who, who was here working in, at UT. Uh, he just moved here and he told me, hey man, do you, you want to wanna drop his name? Yeah, Homero. Homero? Homero? Yeah. Homero, like, <laughs> like Homer, the Simpsons. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Homer, same thing, Homer. but in Spanish. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, he was uh, working here, and he uh, he loves music as well, and he told me, hey, man, you have to come visit here because it's amazing, you know, uh, the amount of musicians yeah. and the great musicians that you can you can see in every corner playing in every, every venue, day. you know. Mm -hmm. So in 2008, I came just visiting, you know, and I fell in love with the city, of course. And uh, when I when I could, you know, I, I I moved here. That was in 2013. Okay. So I've been uh, I've been here ever since. Yeah. Cool. And very happy, you know. It's a it's cool. It's a it's great to you know to be part of of this, you know. So. I don't. I've been surprised how quickly you picked up the local sounds. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you. Because yeah, I mean, you know, you sound like a Texas blues now, guy that grew yeah. up with the way you play. It's like, but I mean, this guy, you know, he's similar. <laughs> very diverse influences. Yep, and when I you listen to his first record, you know, it's completely different. And you have some 
more mm -hmm. Latin inspired. Uh, I mean, you pray with Franco De Vida, so you have that whole yes. Latin influence uh -huh. there too, and with yeah. percussionists in the band and of stuff. Of course, yeah. of course, yeah. That's a. It's as you said. It's a totally different world, you know. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, even even though I did that and 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 I keep doing that sometimes, mm -hmm. I grew up listening rock and roll. So rock for me, roll, yeah. it's like you know. And and we both know what what what, uh, what it means to to learn a new language, right? Right. So, let's say that my my first language is rock and roll. So for me, picking up all the Texas flavors, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's easier mm -hmm. for me, even though I'm picking up like Latin stuff, you know, mm -hmm. even though it seems like a, like a contradiction, but it's not because I grew up, you know, for me, it's more familiar Led Zeppelin than right. any other yeah. thing, right? You know, because I grew up listening to Lucia, Lucia. Then Paco yeah, de Lucia, yeah. yeah. Even though yeah. I love him, of yeah, course, yeah, because, yeah, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, for me, it's more natural to, you know, to, to listen to rock and roll or blues, mm -hmm. all the, you know, from that branch, everything, right? The mm -hmm. blues, yeah. a little bit of country, a little bit. Yeah. All, the, all the fun guitar music. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you brought your uh, two rock amp with you. Yeah. So what, what, tell us a little bit more about that amp. It's a little 35 watts amp, but you know, it's super loud, super loud. And, and it has, what, it, what I like about it is that it right away, it has a very compressed uh, sound, you mm -hmm. know? And, and I was going to ask you, so your clean tight. tone is, did you have any compression on when you were playing earlier? Not now, not now. Okay. Uh, actually, I have the compressor in my pedal board, but it's not for this amp, it's for the Fender. Okay, because <laughs> it did sound very compressed and even, kind of. Yeah, yeah, can, yeah. Can you like play yeah, a little clean? Yeah. What's it clean? Yeah. It almost yeah. sounds like you've compression pedal on yeah, or something. That's yeah, the thing. Spanky. So yeah. it's a but but at the same time it responds very well to your dynamics. Mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. right. And that's what I like. I've been, you know, in, in all this time because I I have it since like uh, almost three years ago now. And I've been using different kinds of like uh with more gain, with less gain. Mm -hmm. Lately I'm using it with super super little gain because mm -hmm. I like uh, getting the gain from, from my pedals. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that way, I think that the the amp breathes better. I don't know. It's mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. my my opinion these, yeah, day, yeah, yeah, these, yeah. these days. But yeah, definitely, it's a very very cool amp. You know, mm -hmm. not for everything though. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but for my you know for my for 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 my music and for playing with your band. Also, yeah, right? when I'm yeah. playing with my band, it's yeah, is the best thing that I have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then you have some kind of cascading uh, distortions, like yes, you, well, different gain levels, kind of. Uh -huh. Yes, I right now the like the the crunch sound that I have is this one. Which so is, what, what's that? This is a JHS um, Moonshine. It's mm -hmm. called. Mm -hmm. Moonshine? No, Morning Glory. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Moonshine's a good pedal name. <laughs> well, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> this one's called Morning Glory. I was looking for uh, some kind of a uh, tube screamer, yeah. she, you know, kind of sound. But this one, I like it because it's very transparent, you know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't add any, any kind of color to the sound, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, a little nice uh, overdrive. <laughs> I really love it. And then I have the plexiton, even though it's not plugged today. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I like having this uh, this kind of uh, plexi sound, you know, for a mm -hmm. more like distortion, but with low gain, you know, that's yeah. uh, how I use it. But a little more grid in it, maybe, no? Exactly. Not as round. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's a uh, very nice. You know, for when I'm playing rhythm guitar, mm -hmm. I I like this one better than this one. Okay. Because this one, as you can, you know, this is the Bogner Ecstasy. This one cuts very very well. You know, it's mm -hmm. a, so for solos yeah. it's perfect. You uh -huh. know, but when you wanna like blend more into the mix i uh -huh. like better the plexiton okay okay, okay yeah mm -hmm. let's say that 
the plexitonist like this, like a smile, mm -hmm. the AQ, and this one's the opposite. It's like, yeah, like a frown. Like, yeah. Yeah, like a frown. <laughs> yes. Where's the reverb coming from? Oh, I'm I'm using the the carbon copy as a slap back. Oh, okay, okay. So that's probably Just what you were hearing. There's a reverb on it too. Is that for me? Send and return. Yes, yes, it, it has a it has a river. Okay. Like a just a tad of yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. To be honest, the river of that that amp is what I like the less, you know, uh -huh. about the amp. Uh -huh. Because I'm, you know, I, I always had like the Fender style yeah. rivers, right. and it's like more Spring. crispy, you know, yeah. and yeah. sparkling, and you know, and that right. one is like more. It's darker for for some things. Sometimes it's good, but uh -huh. I like the the other ones better. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, and, and then you have a little fast pedal that you use sometimes. Yeah, and? the octa fast. Sometimes mm -hmm. I use it. I I really like to use it like this. <laughs> Sound, you know? Gnarly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And sometimes I, I even use it with the distortion as well. You know? It's it's less uh, it's like more concealed, mm -hmm. but it's cool as well. <laughs> Aggressive. Nice yeah, playing. that's a good word for it. <laughs> it fits your playing style. Yeah, it gives you like another yeah. gear. It's like yeah. sixth yeah. gear. <laughs> sixth gear. Yeah. It's like out of the way. I'm about to hit a solo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because I always, I really envy all the guitar players that they just play with one pedal or maybe without mm. pedals at yeah. all. You know. Yeah. And I always think, how the hell are they doing that, you know? Because <laughs> I always end up with at least three different distortions, you know, three different stages of gain, right? Uh -huh. I don't know. It's just my my way of playing, you know. Uh -huh. But those riffs you're playing would sound good without the metal. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. it doesn't that doesn't really. But matter. I, I think it depends what kind of you know style you play. Yeah. If you play a lot of chords, for example. You just automatically have a, a cleaner sound, you know. Yeah, that's true. But, distortion or so yeah, yeah. So. well it's a it's a it's cool because you know lately i've been playing like uh, with uh, different different things here in austin and of course each thing uh needs a, a different mm -hmm. different sound you mean as a sideman or yes yeah, okay, yes okay. yes yes you try you have to sometimes use different setups as a sideman depending on the music right. and yeah. yeah well what i do is that I always bring the same pedal board, but of course I use different things. Mm -hmm, For instance, mm -hmm. when I'm playing, I'm, lately I've been playing with a blues band called Jennifer B and the Groove. Let's give her a shout out. Mm -hmm. yes. Jennifer B and the Groove. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, they're, you know, they're a great band from, they, they've been here for a long time, you know, they, uh -huh. they play blues and, you know, different styles of blues and rock and even country sometimes. And, and of course, when I'm playing with them, that red pedal, I, I don't stop on it yeah. at all. You at know? all. I don't need it. Right. Well, actually, I play the whole gig with uh, one pedal. these three. Well, these oh, four. You know, the compressor, the the Morning Glory, and sometimes the Fuzz, but just, uh -huh. just very, very, in, you know, in just a couple of times. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, because, of course, you know, you need to... To, to 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 change your sound right. uh, depending on the music that's the kind it. of music you're playing yeah so that's what i do you know so as far as influences go mm -hmm. you always like to ask what was your first riff that you ever yeah what's the first not first song you learned but what was the first riff like was it like you know like like what was your was first? that your first one no secret agent man, man. <laughs> Remember, I tried to, tried to play it with my thumb. With your thumb? Yeah, I thought I could learn the guitar with my thumb because I was lazy. <laughs> well, back then you had a little, little thumb, right? Yeah, a little thumb. You had a little bitty thumb, so it, it probably worked pretty well. It didn't work, yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. What was the first... Well, I'm not sure, man, because I started, you know, I started in my, in my neighborhood. There was like a... Like a... I don't know how you say this, like a folk uh, association, you know? Okay, and they okay. wanted me to they wanted me to learn to play the 
I don't know the, the word in English, it's called bandurria, which is similar to a mandolin, you mm-hmm. know? Oh, okay. But it's not a mandolin at all. Okay. It has small, like a diff- small answer? No, it's a little bigger okay. than a mandolin. Anyway, uh, I was, you know, just as a good kid trying to learn that, right. but of course I was already into rock and roll. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. But, but I think the, fir- the very, very thir- first thing that I learned by myself on the guitar was this stupid thing. <laughs> One of these old nylon string guitars that you, you know when when you're you, you know <laughs> drunk and and, yeah. and you and and you you fold it with uh, with stickers and things like that yeah. you know uh, that that kind of guitar. So how did you evolve from that into where you could like depend on the leads? Uh-huh. Did you just listen to a lot of records and sit there and, like figure out? Well, I never. I never had like a formal education, right? But I had good good teachers. Oh, you so know? You, you had some like teachers. Yeah. Like so that. I I my my town Parla. It's a it's in the south uh, southern part of Madrid. It's like twenty minutes away from from Madrid, okay. and it's a it's a very crappy town. Mm-hmm. You know, there's nothing at all. But we're lucky because there's a lot of good musicians yeah. that came out of uh, Parla, you know, and, and especially good guitar players, mm-hmm. you know. So I had one of my teachers, uh, he was from my town and and I was lucky because my sister was uh, uh, in the same class in high school, you know. So she was the one uh, who told me, you should, uh, you know, get lessons from this guy. So I called him and I started, you know, and I remember when I when I went to his house, you know, first time, first lesson, and and this guy had already, you know, this cool uh, strat, you know, from yeah. the from the custom shop and everything, and he was like shredding, you know, <laughs> and I was I was fifteen yeah, or yeah. something, and I was like, what? I want to be able to do <laughs> that. Was, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. Yeah, and that was, I mean, I, that was it, you know. Uh, it, the bug just bite me there, right. and, and I started, you know, starting and playing and and playing in bands as well. I was uh, I was already writing songs, even though I I didn't know how to play right. guitar properly. But but I I was already writing songs and and trying to do stuff, you know. And that was my yeah my it became my obsession, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And lots of practice, I'm sure. of course. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah he's strat- a maniac. He works a lot on I, this. Yeah, music. I, could, I could believe it. Is <laughs> yeah. the Strat your main guitar? Well, it's becoming my main guitar lately. I have another Strat over there. Is it old? New? No, it's this is our reissue from '96, oh, but it looks so worn from the top. I thought maybe it was because the yeah, and here oh. as well because. Okay. This is the the guitar that I bought when I was 16 years old. Oh, you, you know, it. with cool. my first payment when I yeah, was yeah. I was working on construction and I and I bought this guitar. So with, special. Yeah, yeah, with that money. And you know, I I stopped using it like many years ago, but a couple of uh, like uh, three or four years ago, I I changed the the pickups. I put proper you know mm-hmm. p- proper pickups and proper electronics here. And now I have these ones are Lollars, uh, uh, mm-hmm. the ba- I think they're called Bassman. So they're like vintage voiced, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And I really love the tone that I get out, oh, out of this good. guitar. The other strap that I have over there, it's a Lone Star. It's a uh, with a uh, pearly gates here, the uh, humbucker mm-hmm. in the in the bridge, and the Texas Special in the, here. Mm-hmm. And it sounds a little more modern than this one, but. I don't know. But you've gotten a little more traditional, right? In the last yeah, years, yeah. you could say. I mean, playing with all those people. It's true. And, 
it's like Texas is growing in you me. Really? You know? <laughs> like, yeah, because probably when I arrived, uh, I was, a, if you can call a shredder, something yeah. Yeah. similar to that. But always blues based. But yeah. mm-hmm. I heard yeah. several very Nashville country mainstream riffs that you play there. I, so I, I think you can play about any gig, really. Well, yeah, you <laughs> can, you can. I, well, I would have. It sounds to, like you've you've learned pretty much everything. So. No, sometimes I fake it. You know, I, I, I fake it till you make it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, yeah. but the thing is that you know, I children I, don't do this at home. Don't fake it. <laughs> Get the gig. Yeah. Fake it, get the gig. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. No, the thing is that I really enjoy, you know, learning new stuff. You yeah. know, it's like my main thing. You know, it's the, uh, I really love to, you know, to being able to, to play something that I couldn't play uh, the week before, mm-hmm. you know, and, mm-hmm. and, and this, this summer I started, you know, trying to put some country leagues together mm-hmm. and doing, you know, something like that. And, I'm getting there, you know, little yeah. by little. Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> nice. Well, you, you've lived in Nashville, so yeah, you got a little, Yeah, I heard it. You got an ear for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he need a gig? <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to steal my yeah. gig? <laughs> yeah. I got, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been I've been listening to some this guy uh, Brent Mason. You oh, know? of course, yeah. I that guy is a, is a monster. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I've been I've been trying to 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 steal some some of his lyrics. You want you want to play some country? You want to play some country, Adam? I'll try to hang Let's on see. with you guys. Let's see, Let's do a little something. You got G. your perfect country slap back. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> of speed and yeah. bends and no, here's the thing like you know i can hear what's going on and i could learn it but i just never have well yeah you, yeah and you probably weren't exposed to it very much yeah it's really. like you know the middle east and stuff that's closer to austria yeah. you know, than country. <laughs> isn't that weird <laughs> yeah that's yeah, yeah. weird <laughs> Sefo, it was fantastic to have you here yeah man, man. heavenly really? heavenly heaven. cedar creek studio yes oh yeah and uh before we uh end the show uh, we want to say thank you to a sponsor, and we got a sponsor here at the show. Mm-hmm. Big time. Yeah, this is uh, Spirit of Texas, and they're providing us with some special drinks selected by B Wine Date. And here is what our friend B Wine Date has to say about this particular 
pecan street rum made of out of 100 sugarcane molasses <laughs> so that's what you're getting ready mm -hmm. to, to try cool. here uh master distiller sean sims has found a perfect blend this rum is unbelievably smooth with an unmistakable delicious nutty sweetness on the finish sounds good sounds to like me something yeah. i want to try <laughs> you are nutty <laughs> <laughs> but we still gotta do a jam afterwards so you know don't don't overdo it don't okay. overdo it yeah <laughs> Devo? Thank you. Oh, I smell, I can smell that. Mmm, <laughs> smells delicious. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yummy. Mmm. So, a toast on Spirit of Texas. Distillery. And the music of Texas. Yes. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's good. It, sm it smells much sweeter than it is, right? Mm -hmm. It's quite nutty and bold. Yeah, Lausanne was right, I think. Lausanne. She knows her stuff. <laughs> she does. So, Spirit of Texas, and uh, let's do a little jam. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's like a big guitar heaven thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back in two weeks give it up one more time for our guest Sefo Jose Paragan look him up on YouTube and social media yes see you guys soon